Hello everybody, Mr. Galvan here with another quick video on utilizing Google. So Google for Education is a fantastic resource, excellent tool to help us um, do what we need to do not only in the classroom but through online distance learning like what we're facing right now. Um, best way to get started, just uh, open up a new tab. We're going to go ahead and go to Google.com. Now, a lot of people, when they first approach me about how to start using these apps, is they want to know, okay, so how do I go about setting up my Google account? Do I need a new Google account? I need to register for a new one. Where do I go? How do I put it in? Okay, really simple. BISD has partnered with Google. And in doing so, and we're not the only district that's done this. We actually have many districts in our area and across the nation. In, in partnering with Google, this gives us the ability to go to Google's websites and log in to use any of their apps. Like I can click on sign in or I can click on, hang on, I need to set up my pointer here. We can click on the uh, little dots here or little squares and you can click on any of these apps and just kind of sign in. I personally like signing into the one that says drive because it's the springboard for everything. But of course, when I do, I have to sign in. And uh, just give my very slow computer a second here to bring up the website. Sorry about that. Um, notice that it's already here, like uh, because I've been working on it before. But I'm gonna, let's just pretend that I have. I'm going to just say use another account. So. If you haven't signed into Google before, um, and you haven't gone this way, it's gonna you're gonna see something like this: sign in to continue to Google Drive. So email or phone. So now this is where it's like, okay, well, do I need to create accounts? No. If you are a BISD employee, you already have a Google account, um, which might sound surprising to you because I don't remember signing up for Google. Well, it's actually just your email address for BISD. So for instance, I'm going to put jgalvan at BISD.us. Make sure you put the whole thing. So I'm putting my BISD, my work email address, or also known as my domain email, into, into the Google. And we're going to go ahead and click Next. And then I'm going to my password. And this password, well, what is it? Do you have to set up a new password? No, this is actually just the same password that I use for any time that I have to log in to do stuff with the ISD. Same password. Click Next. Again, I want my but it'll come up here, it guys. Any second now. <laughs> there. All right, we're in. And that's pretty much it. Um, in order to go in, you do not need to set up a new Google account. Now, well, somebody could ask me, okay, well, well why not? What if I want to make a new Google account? What if I, I want to set up? like a new email and a new uh, thing so that I could save stuff. I mean, you can, you just may not necessarily be able to access all the apps you could have. And one app in particular that you won't be able to use is, I'm going to click on the dots. Love these dots, by the way. This is an easy way to just spring into all of the apps. One application you may not be able to use, uh, depending on your level of access, or your uh, account status is Google Classroom. Google Classroom is set up for us to use with the domain that we're in as BISD uh, faculty and staff. So when you have your, your BISD account, you automatically have a Google account, which automatically gives you the ability to use Google Classroom and which is actively linked to all of the BISD emails you know, everywhere. Um, it's, it's, it's a way to kind of maintain our, I guess, kind of like our bubble. Like we're in the BISD bubble. 
and so whenever you utilize Google Classroom, you can load your students into your classes, um, and you do so with ease because uh, everybody is more or less already there. You just essentially type people's names and email addresses, and they pop up instantly. And I'll go more into detail on that when I discuss Google Classroom in my later videos. So for now, that's it. Um, you know, start playing with the Google applications. You know, have at it. Uh, one last thing, though, I will note up here. Whenever you see this, this tells you which account you're using. So if you're using multiple accounts, like maybe you have personal Gmail and you have your work, like I do with my uh, Google, you just click up here. You can see who or what is logged in, and in some cases, if you have two or three, you know they'll all be shown here. But whenever you want to sign out, and I do 100% recommend signing out whenever you're finished, anytime you finish, you just sign out and you, you leave. And that's it. Okay, so that's that's all I have for today. Accessing your Google account. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you guys